This is a view of the old Dunlop or Borland Hill, with Mary King's Hill lies to the right, just out of view here because of the trees. Godfrey de Ross had a castle on top of this, maybe in wood originally, but certainly was replaced by masonry. Over a hundred years ago, Mr. Howey remembered the masonry, the very last remnants of it, because we know that the proprietor of the land removed all the remaining quite large building, including the, the uh, foundations as well, were taken, possibly used down at the Borland House and Borland Farms. One puzzling feature is this ditch, which stands out quite prominently here, clearly cut through the rock, running down in a position that doesn't seem defensive. Again, this Mr. Howie, there's only suggestion that it was something to do with laying pipes for bringing water up to the castle. But that seems extremely unlikely. It's known locally as the cuckoo slide. There's no obvious explanation for that. Certainly the Scots name for a cuckoo is a hulet. And the hulet also could be a fool. So whether it's relate, relating some way uh, where a fool might fall, something on those, along those lines. Line below here is the glazet and the glaze that joins with the black burn just around the corner. The local farms, there's Lake Borland, there's Over Borland, there's Borland Hill, and there's North Borland. All these names relate to the, the land that was set aside to feed the people within the castle back in medieval times. Godfrey de Ross left here because he was granted the lands of Stuarton and he took up his residence at Corsal Castle, allowing this castle uh, to be become abandoned or certainly the stone robbed. It's thought that prior to the castle being here there was a fort, as in a, a Celtic fort, and the, the Dunlop family later moved to Dunlop House, they may have been related to the original Celtic aristocrats of this area. Dunlop is said to be derived from the words Dun for a castle and Lop being a Gallic word for the bend in the river. So the castle at the bend of the river. Sounds like a perfect description, but there could be other explanations.